Because anticoagulant medications affect your blood clotting ability, any time you bleed can be dangerous. Here are some general safety tips to prevent bleeding. When shaving, use an electric razor instead of a blade. Be careful when working with sharp tools around the house or in the room. You may want to ask someone else to cut or chop things. Protect yourself from even the smallest of accidents. That includes protecting your feet from cuts. Always wear shoes. Slippers may be appropriate at times, but they too should cover and protect your entire foot. And take care to avoid falls. Falls can lead to internal bleeding. If you do fall or hit your head, call your healthcare provider and seek medical attention even if you don't see blood. Choose a physical activity routine that has less chance for injury. Avoid contact sports like football and hockey. Yeah. For helpful suggestions on exercises that may be safe, talk to your health care provider. And always wear your seatbelt when traveling by car. Oh. Uh, no matter how careful you are, accidents do happen. Oh, man, I'll be today. How you doing today? Good. What can I do for you? Can I pull up a chair? I'm having some back pain. You know what? I can come out there to you. We don't, uh, so patients can move with the wheelchairs if they come through. And our walkers, we typically don't have patients sit there. But I can come out to you. Okay. Yeah. You're good. I can come do that. Sir, I have a right. If I tell you do not record me, you cannot record me, and you can be prosecuted. Okay. Is that you asserting that right that you don't want to be recorded? I'm asserting that right. Okay. Yes, Thank I am. You. Thank you. Thank you. And what's your name? My name? Oh, let me give you my card. Please do. Oh, you didn't have to snatch it there. I didn't snatch. If I would have snatched it, would have failed. You snatched it out of my hand, but... That's fine. Did you uh, need anything else to prosecute me? Because I'm going to uh, keep no, recording. Uh, uh, mm -mm, you can keep on. Okay. Because I know my rights, too. You bet. Can you get her name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I mean, I don't know if she'll give it. Ma'am, who do I do a public record request with here? I don't know. You asked me the wrong one. No? Do you know who the ADA coordinator is here? I don't know what that's there for. Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh-uh. You guys, you don't have one? I didn't say that. I said I don't know. Oh. Do you know someone who would? You got a supervisor here? I do. Let me speak with them. I want a gentleman coming around to speak to you. He's not speaking to me. He's speaking to him. Um, but y'all together, right? No. No, I'm married to a woman. Um, can, I get, can I get your business card? No, you cannot. I don't have a business card. Okay, what's your but name? You want the, you want the um, VA business card? No, I just, just want to know who you are. What's your name? Her name is Sabrina C. Melton. Thank you, Sabrina Melton. I got it. Are you the supervisor here? Depends on. <laughs> yeah, I'm a journalist. Um, right, do you know where the supervisor is? Okay, all right, great. This lady, for some reason, doesn't know that she can be recorded. Has anybody told her that she works for the public? Okay. She just likes to yell and act crazy anyway. No, I'm trying to get the name and contact information for the Section 504 Disability Coordinator for the VA. Okay, let me go look that information up and, and I'll go right Second thing, so you're not coming back and forth. Okay, you said one more time. The 504 Coordinator, right? Right. Coordinator for the VA. Harold Newell. Okay. Second thing would be the yeah. policy that the VA has for handling Eight, five, requests years for accommodations from veterans. You want a policy right. uh, on handling mm -hmm. requests for accommodations from veterans or members of the public? All right. Can you do me a favor and put make sure my number is on there? Okay, Mr. Newell, let me get your Okay, so I'm going to see if. There's seven, zero, four. Okay. Um, uh, tell me your name, just so I know who I'm talking about. Sure. And my name you know is Carthel Complaints. Last name? Oh, sorry? Complaints. No, last like, name. if I have a complaint That's against funny. one of the workers, do you have a badge? who do I file that with? I do. I do. I have you a badge. I have a badge. Is there so the public yeah, knows who they're interacting with? Correct. Do you feel safe? Correct. I do. And okay. I also have a choice okay. as to what kind of information I should share. But your last name is not a choice. It is. It is. It is a choice. It's a choice that I need. Okay. Well, so I'm. I'll, I'll is this all that. the information you hold need? On, hold on. I'll press that issue. I don't okay. want to have it inter interfere with my other questions. So, how about we, we take a pause there, mm -hmm. because this is information that I have to see if I have access to, or if there's someone else that can better accommodate I'm those requests. I'm disabled, and I need to run my train of thought. Yeah. Lose my train of thought. I have difficulties processing <laughs> Thank and you. And assimilating what I hear and see. Okay. Um, I wanted to add to the list the policy on handling grievances of non-compliance and discrimination. It's not general grievances against staff, it's grievances in violation of Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. Okay, so I'm going to go and... Not done, not done. Uh, you keep jumping the gun thinking, instead of asking, is there anything else? Uh, by that same law, there's supposed to be a notice prominently and conspicuously posted in the buildings, on the website, in any letters that are mailed to veterans. Okay. Do you know such a notice? Again, sir. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm having limitations to my position. No, I'm not, I, I, I get that, but who do I ask? You know, that you're the first line of. I've asked you many times now if you allow me to go into the back 
to see if I can seek this information to you right, and or get you in touch with someone who can then accommodate and provide those answers if I am not able to. I get that. That's, that's fine. But just, so just, we're going to take a pause there. We're going to pause there. Me again. You're not I allowing understand. me. It's no, discriminatory. I asked you not to. It is. With all due respect. When I told you if you interrupt me, Listen, it exacerbates my disability. With all due respect, this is a lot of information so far. Write down the last bit of information. I'm going to head in the back. I'm going to seek that information for you. And I appreciate your understanding understanding in those efforts to do that, Sir. and I'll be right back, okay? I can't guarantee you it'll be in five minutes or so, but I'll be right back. This is my disability, I can't. Okay, I will be right back, thank you. Okay, okay. Mr. Hicks? No? All right, so, from the resources that I have, I could not locate all that information, but I do have the contact information for the patient advocate. There's two in Daytona, and I have their number here for you. Do you need the address of the Daytona facility? No, phone number four. Okay, so that is the contact information for the patient advocate, and they would have all the resources and be able to provide you with all that information that you have requested. Okay. As of now, though, unless you're here to schedule, can I see the or see a card that you wrote the notes on so I can just verify what you requested? That's my personal notepad. With, I know what I want to. I'm not obligated to share that with you, sir. I apologize. You're a public employee. That's helpful. You created that in this committee. I've already shredded it. Okay. Yes, sir. Because I, I don't remember what you wrote on there and what you didn't write on there. Okay. Well, the patient advocate would be glad to, go, to go review those things with you. You did drop it. It's in your lap. Did you have any scheduling or nursing or mental health needs? The last thing I was trying to ask you to do is... The notices in, in accordance with Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. The patient advocate would be glad to help do that. But it's supposed to be here. You're here. Unfortunately, I, I'm not. In, I'm not in charge of that. Right. The patient advocate would be the greatest resource you should have. They're useless. I'm talking. About. I'm sorry. Who's in charge of this facility? I don't have that information for you at this moment. Unfortunately, the patient advocate would be the best person I just to provide it. You guys have not been helpful. And I'm sorry for that. I, okay, so I'm not I apologize on behalf of the VA. Unfortunately, they are the, the best resource for that information. If you have a struggle with the time getting them over the phone, I would go there in person. What is what is uh, who, how did you find this information out? Asking somebody or researching it on the computer? Looking for the right. information and not finding it, sir. That is the no, information. I'm how did you come up with this information? Asking somebody or through the computer system? He has a big pad of paper sure back there with a whole bunch of numbers on it. I, I saw him write it down. What I'm telling you is, sir, that is the best person to contact. If there's nothing else that I can do for you, You're not helping you. This is I did the best that I could. Where did you get this I from? Do, I do so suggest you contact resources or you I've done the best that I can to help you. Why are you not answering? I've done the best that I can to help you. I, I do have other responsibilities to move forward with. Hopefully they can help you. They, they do have all the resources to do so. I wish you the best in your venture and whatever you're accomplishing here today. Who's if you are not scheduling and or reaching for nursing Who's the regional director? Who's the regional director? Who's the regional director? Who's the regional director? That is all I can provide for you. Done nothing for you. You have a closer. Thank you. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. That, that yeah. was the outdated one. Okay. But I have a bunch of questions and concerns. Let me grab this one. I have a bunch of issues with this gentleman. Um, were you able to see if you can get it in digital audio format? Um, I checked, and they don't have that in digital, digital audio. They did, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll need one, so if I can get your contact information. I need one in digital audio, I need one in Braille, and I need one in accessible electronic document. Okay. Um, and do you know who the patient is? Uh, not the patient advocate. The disability coordinator is for the VA. It's under Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. I would have to look into that. Because I have my name. Right. I don't know if you were here with part of it, but it was very rude, condescending. It was in my face. I told him it was exacerbating my disability. Um, if you just to back up to move or do anything to sit down and finally back up to the spot. Is there a pen around here? And intimidate. And, um, I'm going to stand up here. So, 
So you're going to write down the things that I'm asking you? You're not going to want to trust that. We got to get out of here, boss. Executives. Yeah, you can call that number, Pat. No, you have an No, you don't have a I guess that's a small facility. So it's where's your profile? Oh, because right there it said uh, provider, and then it says nurse, so I don't want you to think of a provider. Is your email number? Email address? Put it right there. Hi. J A M. Okay. So I'm requesting that I get a copy of this and the complaint form in a digital audio format. Elect accessible electronic document for my grant. And I'll follow up with you with this and that for No problem. Appreciate your time. Have a good one. Take care. Not eating because we're bored. And you're good to go.